Oh wait, it's the king of the moon. Wayne ostensibly caress many fires, but doth he manifest its ray. Astride lards extrude the incomplete lard, beside memories stretch the feeling. Meanwhile at the moon palace Gibby bleeds, soon thy small engine will be horribly pardoned. For every dirt reveals the platinum science, and every art is like modified men. Nice to see the king again. My friends, let us all watch an educational program on healing magics. Oh, our cat had another kitten. How sweet. This could save your life someday. But no, really, probably will. Hey. You guys, now that you're here, have I introduced you to the hermit who lives on my property? He calls himself a homunculus. I believe actually among, if I remember Latin class, that was actually an insult among the Romans. It's almost a tragedy to see that we must chop down all of the beautiful plants just in order to harvest their vegetables. But this is how the circle of life works, and next autumn they will have fully regrown that we may harvest them their fruit again. With all of our money, though, let's go buy more armor and stuff. That's a good idea, right guys? You bet it is. He must be talking about what we did when we opened up the gates. I've never- it's very interesting to me seeing words being used in this way. Because it's less like they're being used as words tend to be used, and more like they're being used in the same way that colors are thrown around, it's like words are being thrown around. It is very avant-garde. Um, I don't really think it's worth buying a dirk. Oh, I'm glad I checked on that box. Now we've taken out the box man by taking his juice box from the box man. I bet he'll be rather annoyed by that. What are you up, person by the giant sea cucumber? What are you up to? My poncho wearing buddy is. His name is Nose. We can afford even the cherry shield now. We are coming along in the world. Oh, some... some Snosa, it's a very powerful demon skull you have. In any case, we will take bowlers. We will take, um, two of the bowlers. Two of the chrome bowlers, that is. 
We cannot harvest their vegetables. I guess it's like how they say you shouldn't pick your friends' noses. But not quite like that. Except no, it's exactly the same principle. We cannot harvest their cone, f their floor cones either. This is a mil-spec biome. Oh, it's a biomod. Oh, it'll let us have an extra arm, eh? Sure. Maybe this way, Wayne can finally have some kind of advantage in combat over his companions by being able to have an extra arm with which to swing the weapons around. Oh, and this way, we can be the ones blinding our targets. Most excellent. I almost feel like they've given up, they've let us buy those, um, combat bells specifically so that we can't just press optimize. I forgot to give you the, uh, this thing. Hold on. What did we just lose? I don't know. Still, now we can have one extra mightiness point. So that's good. Oh, we lost our deflector, I see. Well, it would seem that Deadsy is still going to be the least powerful member of the group. Some things never change, huh? He is very good at philology, though. I'm glad. That's a skill that's so often undervalued in our day and age. Oh, there are microwaves! It's in this very shop and has been all along. So I guess we actually can get healing items. I all kind of liked always being dang always dangling over the uh, over the pit to, of, of death. Never being quite sure whether I was staring death in the face or victory. But I guess we already do that in our day-to-day -day lives. That should be enough. We will cook five more of them and the rest can be projectiles. So this is the first one. You know, some of those sculptures, one of them's shaped kind of like a urinal. Now we will microwave the second one. Another one reminds me of a harp, even though it's kind of just like a wad of intestines. Now we'll microwave another one. And that one near the bottom looks kind of like a squished up sh one of those like pasta things that are shaped like an hose. Anyway, I think there are two more. So this will be the penultimate one. That one uh, on the uh, on the left, the leftmost sculpture, is shaped kind of like a fan, but there's a big hole in the middle, so it doesn't work too well to fan yourself with it. Although those little uh, details along the edge are good, they look good. Okay, let's go. Well, I guess that's just what happens when you crash on a couch, isn't it? Wait, what? Nose, you are one surprising guy. So, um, does this mean just he is more mighty or we are all more mighty? I don't know because I don't know what our mightiness was before this. I uh, never caught on that some Snosa is a woman. Sorry. All right, my boys. We're going to go look around this area and if we die, we'll meet the Death Sage if we go again. It's like those taco places, where you can get, like, they'll punch the hole in your card and you'll get more ramen. What does Mystic Meat do anyway? These are the questions that I ask myself every day at night. What do they do? What does the meat do? What is meat for? Do brains do anything? Well, we all have Mystic Meat, so let's see what it is. Remove status ailments. Oh! And prevents them. Okay, I like this one, some snosa. You guys are doing good. Because you see, we 
t turned on, tuned in, opened up our minds. Well, some things can't be avoided, like fighting spiral poly... Wait, they're not they're not polycrates, they're poly C rates. I have no clue what a poly C rate is. Actually, what am I doing? Don't guard. Now this is what I call battle music. Um, yeah, we don't need to use that. Let's just attack. Now you though, you have some pretty good attack. Ah, nah, your attacks are good enough already. I'd guess that uh parking lot they're in is something like what the area they're in actually looks like. I wouldn't have guessed they were in a car park outside some kind of shop in the middle of nowhere. Oh well, it does strike me as um, the sort of place you'd be hanging out during some kind of mushroom hallucination. I mean, this whole thing feels hallucination-y. So much meat. Okay. I would like to stand and wonder where the parasite crystal is. We had to get in here first. Oh, this is a nice place you have here. What is this place? Oh! Why, I'm doing this on a computer this very moment. Thanks, man. We'll be so enlightened soon. And now we're mightier. What's this thing? Is this a throne? Is this a chair? Is this a duck? Is this what you use to... I don't know what it is. See you around, Brain Sage, man. Or not the Brain Sage, you're the Computer Sage. You know it. Living the dream here, huh? Computer Sage. Oh. We melt just like the opposition does. We're all in this together. Yeah. It's good to have the meat. Look at all the teleport crystals we have active. We have most of them active now. Wait, did they even give me the option to say no? Well, I suppose we are dead it already. I'm glad that couch fared better than that one they had in the austere city. It just goes to show how sometimes what you have in death is better. Wow, look at the beautiful blood ocean. Oh, I didn't realize that was a container. I thought it was a statue of Wayne. So we just killed an insect, even though we're dead. What happens that now? You can build sandcastles on the beach using the space bar. I'm sorry that you're dying. I gotta quit trampling our sandcastles. We're never gonna have a good sand city at this rate. Now, of course, the biggest castle is the one right by the uh, beachfront. That's how it goes in life, isn't it? Wait, is there a person buried here? Nah, I guess not. Well, maybe. Maybe it's that guy with the cap from the Katamari games. I take it you're not the Death Sage. I think I can hear a TV set behind this wall. If I had dynamite, I could break through. Well, I'll be here then. Actually, I don't have any dynamite to give, but I'll give it anyway. Wait, that actually worked? I'll take it. Thanks for letting me check it out first. Hey, my dudes, there's the teleset. Turn on, tune in, turn your eyes around. This is real church music.
Okay. Well, that was worth the dynamite. I guess we might have found some on a corpse somewhere. Thanks again for the explosives. Hey man, no problem. You're welcome. It's always a pleasure. Oh, look at our sandcastles. But they crumble just like the real buildings crumble. Anyway, I thought I'd found a way to get around the fish guard and get down to that sage. But I guess that's not really what happened. Anyway, man, which one of these crystals will take us back to the city? I think it's this one. It makes you Niki like noises. Let's go for a ride. We did it, guys. Good job. It's those skulls. That's what always does Yen. Beautiful city, guys. I like the topiary. Every word is pure poetry. I remember some critic once said about, like, Thoreau, like a poet, everything Thoreau wrote was pure poetry and he wished he could write like that. But everything here is pure poetry, so that's pretty good. We could get a dirk. I'll take it because of the flesh bonus. Now, S S Sam Snosa really needs the flesh bonus because he's not so good with flesh. He gets nervous when he sees a naked lady. But Wayne needs it because Wayne is... It's always good to have more. That's why they eat so many microwave burritos because they are high calorie. There we go. Wait, Parasite Crystal? Oh. Huh. I'll give the, the Parasite Crystal... I don't know, who should I give it to? Simsnosa has some of the most powerful magic because he has that leech ability. Wait, hold on, what power did we get from that TV again? Ah, uh, maybe we didn't get much any. It was still worth it, though, because we learned stuff in the Land of the Dead. Anyway, let's go now get... Actually, hold on. H how many burritos do we have? It's important to know your things. We have a lot of vegetables. We have a fair number of warm burritos, but I think it might be a good idea to get three more. Using the only microwave left on the continent. Well, this really isn't a continent, it's more of an island. But man, isn't the whole world an island when you really get down to it? Earth is just a little pebble island in the vast gulf of, s of space. Is that a stomach growling? It could be. I guess then that we just that Wayne lives on the outskirts of the austere city. He's probably could claim res some kind of residence here. He's probably a citizen. Oh, look listen to the thrilling airship theme. We're real world explorers now. The world is our pearl. Where to first, Daddy O? Well, where else if not TV? I actually, can we go to these other islands? Can we, what if we stop on the beach? No, no luck. It doesn't loop around though. What a curious island. Oh. This will give us the ultimate TV. But we're one sage token short. I didn't realize that the sage tokens were polychaetic worms. 
That's not what they're called. I forget what they're called. But that's what those Pompeii worms I talked about once were. Are? Well, what do we do in the meantime? Well, here's another pier on which we can stop and, and breathe in the, the atmosphere. Is this the island where that knight lives? It very well might be. Oh no! Guys, don't do that. We can walk right through the cheese hedges. Hope you don't mind we took your crop harvest, man. These are like that switches that the Moon King uses. The lever's off limits. I don't recommend pushing the button either. Well, the button isn't off limits, so I'll just push that. Well, I mean, I pushed the, the button. Let's see what happens now. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. So if the lever is off limits, what happens if we pull the lever? Please don't touch the lever. Thank you. You sure? I appreciate it, knightly sir. An infinite source of veggies. This is the best place. Actually, hang on. Does that mean that if we go back to our house and harvest more veggies on in our house, that we can have even more veggie tables? Did, has, has the new crop grown already at this juncture? I sure hope so. No, it hasn't. What a shame. I could have gone for some more vegetables. We could have had the beans. Mmm. Beans. I like how this soundtrack is not very... How do I put this? It's just sort of like... It's not noise exactly, but it's not exactly a... Terribly... It's not the sort of thing you're gonna be humming to yourself. Oh, it's not a town. Well, what's this? All these insects here. <gasps> this is why you're with us, Samsy. We can use the paper cup with this machine. Oh. Thanks, Snow Simsnosa. We better beware of those Bobo Links. Hey, are you the Bobo Links? Psst! Hey! Squirrel food! I got your squirrel food! Two thousand bucks for some squirrel food! Deals like this come once in a lifetime. Nah, man. Nah. Cheapskate. Not cheap, I'm just poor. Actually, I wonder. What would happen if I just say I'll buy it even though I don't have the money for it? Uh, that's what I would expect to have happen. That's pretty realistic. Some things never change. What's in this in this in the seashell? Is this a door? I don't know. We'll have a whole party going on in here. We got the worm, the deformed Cheerio. The misshapen rice, the worm, the wad, the worm, some toy, and Chet. But the door is still not opening up. Oh, but we can make him calm too. Well, I think our work here is done. Wait a minute. Look at the bird statues over there. This place was designed by a master sculptor, and it's a pleasure. I believe the people who made this also, or at least one of them, made some kind of other game. Where it's like an art program, and you can put in animations and stuff. It's more of these. I thought there was a city here. Instead, what even is this here that we have? This one is floating above it.
How curious. Maybe we have to make only these ones dance in the dance place. It could be. Well, I guess we should remember these guys. I mean, between the three of us, I'm sure that we can remember which ones are the ones here. It's the, it's Worm, 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 and Rainbow in monochrome. I think that would be... That's it. Okay, guys? Let's leave the clay desert and be on our trippin' way to go over down south past Stonehenge. All right, now let's try something new here. Okay, so those ones were still, so we'll make that one still. Um, we'll make rainbow and monochrome still. Uh, we'll make we'll make the worm still. What? Thanks, worm. For goodness sake, someone's cooperating. And we'll make this worm still. Now that these ones are all special and different. Let's see if this affects the course of world politics. What is Wayne trying to do, anyway? I didn't quite follow. I'm pretty sure that fellow who's the king of the moon is a rather bad guy. He kills people just by tapping them. And I have a feeling he has it out for Wayne, even though he's apparently the narrator or something. Okay, so let's undo what we did before. We need only these ones to be doing the jig, and all the other ones to be inert. Good job, guys. You're all good and inert at this point now. And we'll see whether that changed the course of... Oh, the door opened! Nice place you have here, bug woman. I am called Pangorma, greatest of the dread knights of Yithorn. Through long ages I have waited in this vault. Fight me. Nah, so it goes. So you're the knight I heard about, man, huh? Is that a woman? Oh no, it's just things. Well, my bad. What's on your TV? Whoa! Trippy, bro. We learned the truth. Do you see the truth now? I've been trying for a long time to see the truth. Hey, let's fight after all, mysterious knight for whom I have so long searched. I didn't know you had guards with you. Now this is what I call intense battle music. Oh, I like the sounds of that. Let's just keep using the dark flame. Well, some Snosa can get away without doing that. He is pretty... he lifts weights. It's like they're the Onceler or something. Wow, we are not doing as hot as we could have been doing. Well, maybe we are. We killed one of them. That's pretty good. Hey... Some Snosa, there you go. Dead Deadsy. Here's what I need you to do now. Okay, do we have any special good attacks? What does Queasy do? What does Calib. Well, that makes us mightier. What is. Well, let's just make Dark Knight Queasy. I hate it when I'm feeling blue. Yeah, let's just toss this at the knight, at the guard. Take out the small fry first. Look at it go. We should have just punched him. 
Oh, Queasy is poison. I see. I have to admit, this is a rather tough fellow this night is. Well, um... How about we just attack the guard? In some Snosa, you can use Mini Leech on everything. Oh, the guard is guarding. How appropriate. Oh, wait, our enemies use Mystic Meat. They're getting pretty good, pretty crafty, these enemies. Okay, hey, Wayne. Maybe it's time to heal yourself. With ablative hollow pleather. Good for what ails you. I'm getting sick of everybody not just dying already. So I'm gonna work on that. There we go. Now we only have one more to, to die and then eat the meat in the afterlife or something. I too sometimes partake of the corpses of my fallen enemies. Don't we all, bro? Well, that wasn't good. I'm not surprised he has that ancient odor given how old he is. But this'll take care of it on the quick fast, but Wayne can hit harder. So actually, we'll have Deadsy do that one. Um, there we go. You know, Mystic Nightman, we didn't have to do this. We could have, you know, we, we could have just talked and been friends and talked about life. You're the one who wanted to fight, okay? Everything going on here you brought on yourself. Ah, oh, come on, Dark Knight. I guess this is one of those times where, well, it's not gonna poison us because we just use mystic meat. So never mind, it's cool. It's kosher. It's cool beans. That Dark Knight is in a sad state. He's just going to be snapped to death at this point. So it he was. Maybe if we had met in another life, we could have been friends. But instead, we met here. And under the circumstances, the Knight's ancient and outmoded warrior ethos allowed for no other outcome. I am defeated. Very well. I will follow you and aid you in your violent endeavors. By the way, I have dominion over the ambulant skulls. You needn't fear their deadly touch any longer. Wow. Nice to know you, guy. Sorry about your couch. Hey, if you watch your TV, I mean, I'm pretty sure you have. But I'm gonna watch it again with you, just to be sure. I mean, you better have been watching TV. What else would you have been doing in here for all the times you've been in here? I guess that other guy we met was not one of these knights. We're harvesting all of the life juices. They speak in poems. The Beat Generation. Well, now what do we go to do? Well, we're not dead. So we can't go and access the island with the tokens. So what can we do? Well... Let's check out this landmass. So now we have the full army together. Wayne, Snelly, Nose, and Pog. So these are the underground tunnels. Who could forget these? Oh, they're gravestones. Oh no, it's ghosts. Don't mess with me, ghosts. I didn't realize that these were the catacombs. Oh. 
Here is a map of the of the the cemet of the graves. This is the necropolis. I have never personally visited a necropolis. I have heard of a place though where there's some city where the poor people all live in the graveyard and live among the corpses and take care of the corpses. Yeah, it's not like that where I'm at now though. Hey, there we go. What's this? It sure is jiggling, just like a big glob of jello, which is incidentally made from bones. Just like the graveyard is made from bones. Oh, it's Ghost A, Despair Puff, and Ghost B. My favorite Pokemon was always Despair Puff. Um, I'll take this one. Some Snosa, attack the ghosts. And Pongorma, you're pretty good. What can you do? Um, yeah, you have that. So instead of that, I'll just have you attack them. You darn ghosts. I see what this is now. Uh, these are ghosts who we can pretty much only hit with our special attacks, right? Okay. I'll deal with it. We have some juice boxes. Dead Dudsy. Attack the Despair Puff. I'm more confident that we can kill the Despair Puff. Um... You know what? Why don't we just let the ghosts kill us? We'll give them that satisfaction they want of killing us, and we'll meet Death, the Sage of Death. So that'll be pretty good, am I right? You know it. Let's just charge forward with no strategy. Oh, so you can hit ghosts periodically. They're just pretty evasive. They're like slugs. When you think you have the slug in your hand, the slug just slimes out of your hand because it doesn't have any bones. That's the wacky thing about these invertebrates like ghosts. Ghosts are my favorite kind of invertebrate. They're all aiming for Pongor. What did Pongor do to deserve this? Let's just do this. Oh, you can't do anything, can you? Well, just keep attacking. Oh, you can't do anything, can you? Well, just keep attacking. And, oh, you can't... You can do a little. Let's go for... Oh! Well, this could be useful at the beginning of the battle, but this far in, I'm just gonna go with Dark Flame. This should finish the job. This should finish what we started. Oh no, we're not doing so hot now. Those ghosts learned some unnerving glyphs after their death. I know that's how it goes. Why didn't we learn any unnerving glyphs after we died? Good question. I should have ar armored up Pongor, but that's fine. It'll just make it easier for us to die. That's a pretty dark thing that I just said there. Don't worry, we'll make it. See, we'll do the greatest against them. No, we'll finish them off even though we're so blind that we can't see a damn thing. Oh. It's all over. No, just K. No, JK. This is a fight to the finish. What you guys are seeing here is the Alamo. Only less jingoistic. Wow! Went better than I expected.
Well, I guess I'll hang out here just a little longer, even though we have some dead men walking. I know I have that map, but what do I care? Everything's a map when you get down to it, am I right? Oh no! Um, no, it's fine. We'll, we need to die anyway. Come on, let's go. There we go, another jiggler. I guess we need to get them all jiggling. Oh, it's a mummy! Oh wow, this is a big... Wait, there are still cone cultists down here? I should have known they had some connection to the dead. Meat is another one of this many motifs in this. See, it's not all relaxing. Really? No meat? I thought for sure I'd have an axe to grind. Well, we better take a nap on, on the couch. They'll just pile up into a four-layer sandwich. The executive balcony is down the stairs. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. Uh, I guess you qualify. Good job. You may proceed. Thanks. Oh, so you're the Death Sage, huh? Oh! How you doing, my friend? Time steals away like a stream and we glide hence away. Squish, squish. Ah, oh, jeez. I thought I was gonna get... Wait, we don't have a paper cup? What are you getting at, man? No! We lost the paper cup! Well, our meeting with the Sage of Death was a little less eventful than I'd hoped. I wanted that final token. Now what are we gonna do? If he wasn't in the land of the dead, where is the Sage of Death? He's certainly not in this place. In this realm of the dead. You know, I take back what I was saying earlier. This is just about as out there as any video game I've ever seen. It pretty much is on par with the most out there works of art I've seen in other forms of media. So, yeah. I, good job, you made something that really is out there. Well, I guess I should probably buy some of these. Um, hmm. I think it's important that Pangorma keeps his uh, bleak cellophane because he's a physical attacker predominantly and a, a heavy hitting one, I think, so I think it's important that he be able to not be blind. This, though, this could be a game changer. Really could. With this, nose will become unstoppable. Unstoppable. Oh wait, he'll become better at cooking. I wonder what stat cooking effects exactly. See, now look at all of his HP. He has a few, quite a few of them. He's a proper HP enthusiast now. I sure wish we could actually see them equipped with their armor in their overworld sprites.
When do you think we'll meet a flesh dash? Yeah, it's attack. Wow, I didn't realize these guys were actually spouting extremely relevant advice for the later stages of our journey to the moon. The more you know, you know? We just need to hit all of those special jiggly things, am I right? Of course I am. Let's just deface all of the graves. It's like The Legend of Zelda, but... Well, it is, actually. Look at those slippery as slime ghosts behind us there. Sliding around like a slippery slime. Oh dear. Well, this isn't as bad as the one where we had, where we encountered the accursed meat. Now nah, we'll take these guys out. Is that a building built from toy blocks behind them? It might be. Oh. Well, that was fast. I'm not surprised since Wayne is one tough guy. The issue is this takes away our precious MP. And they just want to spam it, don't they? Now I know how they, how they feel when we use the mini leech. They don't feel the best they could feel. They feel something substantially less than that. forever now can they no they can't well maybe they can I don't know I don't know him very well I just met him the other day when I was uh, you know out eating somewhere I should give more people the bleak cellophane and in fact I think that I shall the issue is Pongorma doesn't have the meat ability this is not a good thing, guys, that's happening here. Can we hit them with a frozen burrito even though we are not seeing so well right now? I don't know, guys. That'll help us out, Wayne. You'll see. Oh, look at it go, look at it go! Oh, they, they missed it too. They're as slippery as slugs, like I said. Okay guys, we'll use this first of all. Now the rest of you will just keep wailing at him until something happens. Actually, you... Maybe just eat a vegetable. They're good for you. They have lots of fiber. I hate enemies that are this evasive. I really don't like them. Oh god. I really hate these ghosts, guys. I really am not a fan of the ghosts. They can beat it for all I care. I don't want to end up again in the land of the dead. I don't feel like it right now. But these guys hit heavy. So let's get out of here.
Okay guys, before these things get any worse, I think we should do a few things. I thought we were well prepared for all the horrors we would face in here, but clearly I was somewhat overconfident. And I apologize for that, guys. I should have thought more carefully about what we were going to do before we did it, but instead, look what happened. Oh, it's like a... What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Oh! There you go, Wayne. Anyway, uh, juice box. In fact, you know, it might just be a better idea at this point to just get out of here and go to sleep somewhere. Oh, there's a TV in the catacombs. Well, we're a little stuck. <sighs> can we manage this? We can try. We can certainly try. We'll go for the familiar ones first because we know what they're capable of. After this, maybe we'll stop at that island and get some things. Specifically vegetables. We need to get lots and lots of vegetables. They're the only healing item, and they don't consume any magic is the key note here. Oh, so these guys aren't nearly as dangerous as I thought because they're not slippery slugs. Yeah, those weren't banana slugs at all. Well, maybe they were. They were about as strong. So much meat. This will be great the next time we're dead. The meat will be great, I mean. What's this green thing? No time to contemplate that now. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here, I say. The key is avoiding the ghosts. If we can avoid the ghosts, we're Peachy Keen... Commander Captain Keen. I know that I could just follow the map. Eh, but I prefer to do the less efficient thing. I mean, given the option, why would I ever be efficient? Please, guys, come on, what do you take me for? A communist? Because I'm not a communist, I'm an anarchist. Seriously. Oh, look at all the ghosts. Well, fine. I'll take care of some of the ghosts. Some of them. Yeah, th I bet you that the elevator there, will the doors will to the lift will open up, and we will be able to climb inside its maw and go on a ride to heaven. But first, we need to take a bath or something. I feel like that song might go on longer than it needs to, given how briefly it, you know... Oh! Our vegetables have regrown! These are a genetically modified crop that grows more quickly as a consequence of that. Kinda like Nier's farm. Unlike Shantae, this probably is in the same continuity as Nier. Just a few years after Nier Aut Automata. And the panties in it that I hear people talk about. I don't really know what's up with that, though. There's probably more to it than that, I don't know. Emile's head and stuff. Actually, I know what we could do. We can go kill that one guy who's hanging out in in the other dimension. Let's go, boys. So now that those skulls are no threat to us, can we just chat with them? That'd be pretty nifty if we could, I mean, you know, pretty nifty. Uh-oh. I don't like the look of these weird cone floor guys. What's this tell us that have for us? It's the color of cheese. Oh yes, this is a good one for everyone to know. Do you have advice for us now, Skull? No, it just teleports away. Okay, sure. I forget, what was in- oh yeah, right, the computer sage was in there. Because we're in a giant computer right now, that explained why the computer sage, I mean, he see, he oversees the teleportation facility.
Oh. That's weird. We're avoiding getting hurt by it. I'm surprised. It struck me as a rather nasty piece of work. What's it due to plasm, though? Maybe we don't need to kill this majestic beast after all. But I am interested in knowing what the things that it had were. Oh! That's pretty useful stuff. They must be its eggs. Let's see if it laid any more. Or she, I guess. No, she doesn't appear to have laid any more due to plasm. Truly a majestic creature. Well, I guess we don't need to kill her then. I'm glad. Oh yeah, there's that cockroach food guy. How much cash do we have? We have enough to spend on that. I mean, I think we do. Sure wish we could get to that trash can, though. Well, so let's see what's in this other room here. Oh, I know what we need to do to get to the trash can. Oh, or not. My bad. My mistake, guys. I'm sorry. So, hey, you must also have known the knight who's immune to the, their touch. Worth it. You bet? Yeah. I'll buy it, even though this came twice in a lifetime, you dirty liar. I hate him so much. What's roach food good for? It's good for roaches, I guess. Wait, we have two of them? I didn't know that. Now I do. I wonder what the history is between these skulls and our friend. I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. I never actually went down here, did I? What's this place? Um, this vault's off limits. Please go away. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Oh, I don't know, man. Look at all that money in there. I like money. It's like, I'm gonna have to destroy you if you don't leave. Well... But there's even a TV in there and a toilet! Okay, though, I'll go. You're right, it'd be rude to murder him. I don't want to be impolite. Though he can probably come back from death as easily as we can. Let's be honest, let's be real here. Oh, that's fine. Let's just kill all of them. It shouldn't take long. In fact, this should happen rapidly. These are low-level schmucks now. I think that schmuck used to mean penis. And I guess it still does in Yiddish. Whatever that is. I think it's Yiddish. 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 Hey, I got an idea, guys. I know it might not be quite as noticeable looking, but I think it would be in all of our interests to put on some of this bleak cellophane with all the blinding ghosts that hang out around here. It'd make our jobs a lot easier in the grand scheme of life. It's weird, the screen looked like it was sort of trembling there. Is, is that visible in the video? Guess I'll find out, won't I? So you don't really need to tell me in the comments, but you can if you like. I always welcome conversation because I'm lonely. Oh. Oh. Well. So be it. Oh, we're back in the car park. It's waving around like this is Mother 2. So be it. Union. 
Those poor despair puffs. Are they puffs that are in despair? Or are they puffs of despair? I could see it going either way. Dead's Mullen, you useless... Maybe I should just make sure Dead's Dudsy is the healer. That would be a good idea, I think. Even if he just heals by passing out veggies and burritos. So what happens when the ghosts are dead? Do they go to the second level of dead? Or were they born as ghosts, like the boos in Mario video games? I could see it going either way. Oh, stairs. Where will these stairs take us to? They took us to a futurist painting, from whence there appears to be no way of means of proceeding. Unless I'm missing something. I mean, I see that there's a stairway up there, and there's even a man writhing around up there. But it's a different stairway that leads to him, so my bad. This is the island of death, huh? Yeah, it is. Judging by all the dread meat and the other nasty stuff here. Another useless plumbus. Or maybe I should say another plumbus wasted. There is no useless plumbus. And that's the cruel tragedy of it all. Is they really were all useful. All of them were. Um, nah, this isn't where I wanted to hang out. Actually, nah, it still won't budge. Even when all four of them put their hands on each other's shoulders and tug, 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 it just doesn't budge. And Poggy and Nose are big guys, too, so you'd think they would make some difference when they try pulling on it to make it budge. But I guess not. Oh, was there a ladder or was there not a ladder? We may never know. Let's just kill him. If only these ghosts weren't so evasive, they would be dead so fast. But they're so evasive, they're even beginning to disappear a little bit. You can't even quite make out the bottom of their legs. They're like that Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. But they're an orange because they've been drinking too much Kool-Aid. Or maybe they eat a lot of crab meat. The main problem with these guys is that they take away so much of our precious MP. And I don't like that one bit. But if we kill this ghost, then all the ghosts will be ultra-dead, and we won't have to worry anymore. Just a few of our attacks need to make contact with their fleshy, fleshy bodies. With their fleshy, fleshy, non-corporeal bodies. It's a good thing that we go first, or else Pogor might have been smushed by the ghost's attacks. How can they take away that many MP? Oh, I didn't realize that the despair puffs were healers. This changes the... This changes things, indeed. The option I just had selected for a moment. Well, thanks for undoing three hours worth of progress, Despair Puff. I see why they call you Despair Puff. It's because you leave people in despair. Please hit him, Nose. Nose didn't hit him. Wait, hold on. Why was he only restored with six flesh? I thought he was restored with half of his flesh. Well, just goes to show something or other, doesn't it? Well, Wayne, attack, you attack, you attack, and you heal yourself. Oh, he doesn't have any MP, I forgot. Well, okay, let's do it this way. 
The vegetable goes to Bongi and he'll just munch on his broccoli while he swings his axe. Or he has a sword, doesn't he? Wayne's the one with an axe. I've always hated the commercials for axes. They're so pandering. Oh yeah! Look at that abstract impressionist background. Stretching as far as the eye can see. No, no ladder. Well, I'm pretty sure most of the ghosts here are really dead now. Oh, there's still one. Well, before we deal with him, let's climb the stairs and see who lives in this land of the dead. I certainly don't. Wrong set of stairs. Guys, you goofballs. Here we go. Well said. It's just a cat, just some stray. Let everything that blatantly embrace or embrace not plastic pyre, let lordly jelly, let concavity hire, consider mountain, consider mountain, consider mountain. The death saith, or the death saith. Wish this bloody cat wasn't in the way. So there is at least one other microwave on Earth. Good to know. You would have think that they would. Let, cat would let us buy. Thanks, cat. Gosh. Wow. This goes quite some ways. Oh. Oh no. Actually, this is a good idea. We'll lure the ghost up here. And then what is he going to do, huh? He'll have a harder time getting back to us when we're down in the cemetery area. It'll be a grand time had by all. Okay, cat, move. Thanks, cat. No, move. Thanks, cat. I wish that cat wasn't there, but soon the ghosts will eat it. They Nah, they won't do that. They would have killed it already if they really wanted it dead. You saw those ghosts work. They know all about dying. They're experts. Okay, so there are apparently two ghosts left. I feel like it's kind of inevitable we're gonna kill all of them, though. Ah, oh, well, there's just one of them. We can handle that. By killing them all as efficiently as possible. If we all spam dark flames, Wait, what'd I just do? Well, anyway, I guess we're not all gonna spam Dark Flame, but if we did, they would all be dead in no time. Double dead. Double down on dead. I'll give a chance at this, at this point that we might not have to, yeah. We'll just spam the Dark Flames. They'll, they'll, it'll, be, it'll, it'll be worth it in the long run. I'll save hours of my life. And in that way, I'll save my life, won't I? Yeah, we're already low on our special MP. I hate the... It's the glyph attack! That's the only thing that gives them an edge over us. If it weren't for that, we could take him out easy. As it stands, though, we have to make do with what we can. Well, we did it, I guess. Uh, oh wait, there's a chest. What's inside? Always good to have packs of juice. What do they call those things? Capri Sun? I remember that those things existed many moons prior to today's moon. I don't know what it is now. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a waning gibbous. Hey, pardon me. Actually, no, it'd be a waxing gibbous this time of month. Let everything that horribly bleed or bleed not sphere like mire, yet youthful vacuum let truth cipher. Caress mirror, caress mirror, caress mirror. The worm saith. 
That's one wise worm, man. I can feel it. I feel the cosmos. Who was it? What was the name of that girl? Ichiro? No, that was not. I forget her name. Something like Susumu. You know, maybe I should just look at that map at this point. Well, we might as well make it a complete record of desecrating every single gravestone. If we don't desecrate all of them, what was even the point? Oh, there's a tell TV here. Oh. Hello. All these old enemies are powerless against us at this point. We've become a very strong and efficient team of violence doers. The world will tremble in fear of our violence. Even malign holograms do not survive against the onslaught of our murder. It can't evade us, so it is powerless to hurt us. It also cannot steal our MP, so it is powerless to hurt us. Or in any case, if they can avoid our- if they can steal our MP, they would be wise to do it a little more often if they want to kill us. Then we'll just be back for seconds. I bet those things that appeared are some descendant of Sanskrit that the people today speak. Is that all of them? No, it's not quite all of them. The ghosts are- Some things are just not worth it after a while. The issue is, in this one, I give you- There's no span of time in which the enemies say stunned or something after you escape. It's just immediately they're back to their old antics. Well, we might have no choice. Let's just spam the Dark Flame. I think we have no choice but to kill all of them. Down to the last ghost. They'll all be so ultra dead. They will be... They'll be in double dead town. I mean, there's no ambiguity here about what we're doing. But then again, we killed Pongorma and he wasn't dead, so maybe the ghosts aren't really going to dead town at all. They're just going on a vacation. I think that, uh, obviously the game is designed so that there is never really an immense challenge to it. And while some might object, I say that that works fine because Hylix is obviously intended to be a tone piece more than anything. I feel like if there were an extreme challenge, it would kind of undermine that purpose. Let everything that accidentally avenge or avenge not elusive pyre. Let government, let being or, avenge spirit, avenge spirit, avenge spirit. This prison saith. The prison of our bodies, man. I remember Avenging Spirit. The body count that boy left behind him. I guess he's probably in hell now. Maybe he's with that guy in the worm from Illbleed. What was the name of that worm? I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh no, ghost. Against my better, better senses, I want to let you escape, ghost. I want, let no one say that we exterminated all the ghosts. Um, oh, here we are. Now they're all good and jiggly. So, now that that's out of the way, they're all jiggling this way up and down that. Oh, it still won't budge. But maybe the door over here is open. Where is that door? The door to the lift? I bet it'll take us to a department store. Or not? I guess actually we did miss some jigglies. 
Oh yeah, we didn't get this one, even though we uncovered the ladder. Peculiar, huh? What's this, event? No, it's not. Oh, I noticed that the jiggly skulls... There are some shapes in the walls that resemble them, like this one in front of us. Nifty, Daddy-o. How about now? Now will it open up? Has the Lord Hashem accepted our... Our peace offer? No, it hasn't. Oh, there we go. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life as a little boy in... We're deep into underground territory now. Just to join the dancers, they don't let them notice us. We'll fit right in. Oh. I like this understated, uh, piece. Wow, this is more heads with points on them. Do you think this is us? Are we the chosen ones? I could see it. I feel like this presence of the spiral polysurate implies that there is actually some kind of kinship between all of the foes that we've yet far so far slain on our journey. Ah! I like that they say, oh my god, in the descriptions of what happened. Well, once again, one in doubt just spam dark flame. That's one dangerous attack they have there, isn't it? I wish they'd quit using that attack. I don't like it very much. I think it's just cruel. Now let's kill them and eat their meat. Come on! Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, Kill him. Just kill him already. Ah, Just kill him. Just kill him already. Hooray. It's a sad world indeed when we can celebrate the death of our fellow men. Want some eggs? Let's see what he was guarding. He died for the demon's skull. What does this even do? Anything? No? It's so weird because when you equip things, they don't seem to affect their stats, or rather they only very rarely do. Those guys who are following them, I feel like, are just normal folks we've talked to before. It's interesting to note the cone cultist shapes around here. Oh! Operation of the device requires a paper cup. I know. You, ha you won't happen to have one, would you? Blue. Blue is the heaven above me and the earth green at my feet. Oh life, oh life, I kept saying, and the very word seemed sweet. Wait a minute. You look like the Death Sage, kinda. And now that I look at it, it sounds looks like we're surrounded by those murals or ghosts or what are those? They look like they look like many of the cultists and monsters that we have fought. Are we nearing the end of our lengthy journey to the center of the earth? I mean the moon? very well might be, my friends. Duck blade? Is it the blade of a duck? It's... might lower their mightiness, huh?
Um. Oh, I know what I'll do. There we go. Now we're the toughest guy this side of Sunday. We'll be on our way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, listen to that. Brass. This is a real enemy. It's the king of all the vegetables we eat. At this point, we're getting to be pretty heavy hitters, some of us are, at least. Oh, he attacks multiple times and- Wow! He's weak to poison, isn't he? I like it. I want him to be weak to poison, because I want him to lose. Wait. Oh, of all the health chance, a good one. What just happened? What did the tomb- what did the shrub just do? He made a new shrub! This is a dangerous foe indeed. Far more so than I realized initially. We must take out the parent before we take out the, the, the king. Or before we take out the, the child of the parent, I mean, you know what I meant. Yeah, man, that's some good health chanting, man. He's creating so many sub-shrubs. What if there are 10 million of them before we're done? That's a lot. I don't know that I could kill 10 million of them. That's a lot of children to murder. The ironic thing is that we're doing this while fighting them with the power of, um... of vegetables to sustain us. I think you need a juice back. Oh, wait. Oh, do I need a juice box? We only have so many juice packs. I don't want to waste them. I mean, I have one of them only, but... There we go. Wait, it only restored 15 MP. How are we up at 100%? Or did I misread it and it said 15%? I mean, even if I did, though, that still wouldn't make sense. How would that restore all of our MP? Oh, well. Now we'll kill all of them, as the Lord intended. We did it! The tomb shrub is dead. Now all of the sub-shrubs are dead. Their lives were tied inextricably to their parents. I guess we go into other dimensions when we... fight. And so we go deeper into whatever this place is. Oh, it's another one of the mushroom headers. In the chapter of the book. Yeah, this is what I thought would happen. Tunnels under the ocean. Oh, I saw you guys before. I have died a lot here. 
I call this place the Hall of Deadly Statues. I'm strengthening my leg muscles so I can run past them. Oh, they must be pretty deadly. How deadly are the statues that are deadly? Eh, they're not so deadly. Oh boy! That's not a good looking thing that's going on right now. I'd prefer if that wasn't happening. Oh! Deadly indeed. I wonder where this strange route will take us someday. Who knows, my friends? Because have we not already been to death and back? The only place left is the moon. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm right. That's the spoiler alert. It's kind of odd how we only see their legs on the save menu. It's almost like we're seeing their corpses hanging from meat hooks. But only the lower part of their corpses. Now I know what to expect in this deadly trial of hallway trials. Oh no. Well. Happens to the best of us. I've been there too. A festivus for the rest of us. The Hall of Deadly Statues is a dangerous land indeed. How many times already have we died to its wiles? I don't know, a few times. Here your fingers need to be very fast as you navigate the pathways that we're navigating. Oh! Now this is the kind of ancient artifact a man can get behind. May have cost us our lives though. Oh, well, we, we have plenty of those. And we got our lives for free anyway, so it's, what are we losing? You know, you'd think seeing our hero's face melt off would rather upset me, but you get used to it after a while. It just goes to show you can get used to anything, isn't that right, stop motion fishmen? I know what this route we're going on will bring us to. It'll bring us to the Sage of Death who in a big twist wasn't the man down here. Oh boy. My thirst is quenched. Really though, let me take a drink of water. Moist. I must make it. I must. This is what we've been journeying towards all these millennia ago. Well, we caught one of them. Oh crap, they're- oh, no. I see what we need to do. I think we need to sort of trap all three of those statues. A Hall of Deadly Statues is well named. That guy picked a good name to give to it in this man's estimation, at least. Are they yet baffled? Are they yet bewildered? Go! Just go! Whew. Whew. This is intense, guys. This is real. this is intense. Look at them, they're all stuck there. These are a bunch of morons. Oh, here's a new area. Oh, cray! Oh, go! Go, go, go!
You guys happen to have money? Oh, it's a dead fish. Wait. Sunglasses and a guitar? I have the option to continue. I guess I'm going to do that. <laughs>